Not many people get to see World War II aircraft flying through the sky, and even fewer get the chance to ride along in a plane that actually helped the Allied forces during the war. But on Friday evening, the skies of Gainesville were decorated with a rich history. Placid Lassie, a Douglas DC-3, also known as a C-47, which was a transport carrier during World War II, led a pack of 14 North American T-6s through the airspace, putting on a show for any resident who happened to be able to catch a glimpse at the planes soaring through the air. Prior to the flight, Ben Smith, one of the flight crew on board, talked a little bit about the history of the plane. Uh, we called her Placid Lassie because she was easy to fly. So she flew D-Day. She flew Market Garden, which is a bridge too far if you saw that movie. So she towed gliders and dropped troops, 82nd, 101st. If you watched the Band of Brothers, this airplane dropped three combat supply loads on Bastogne when they were surrounded to keep them fighting. And the airplane dropped the 17th airplane airborne across the Rhine. And now it's the first two years of her life. Then she was an airliner and a cargo dog. And finally ended up being left abandoned in Covington, Georgia, and was rescued by one of our, fa- our donors in 2010 and got flying again. Getting together a group of 15 planes is no small task. After most of the training flights had wrapped up at the Gainesville Formation Clinic, Eric Zipkin, one of the pilots of Placid Lassie, started gathering names and gauging interest for those who wanted to take a ride on the plane. Then there was the briefing, where the pilots discussed the plan and asked any questions to make sure they had worked out any kinks so the flight could go off without a hitch. And the mission is to uh, have a little bit of fun, watch the sunset, get a couple pictures, show the town we're around, and, uh, and go from there. And the most important part of the mission is we're going to be safe. Once the plane was up to altitude, the passengers were able to walk around the cabin and peer out of the side windows to take a look at the T-6s surrounding the large transport carrier. The planes were in the sky for about 30 minutes, flying over Gainesville and passing directly over Depot Park and downtown before finally touching back down at Gainesville Regional Airport. Tri-Ecker, WUFT News.